Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us how to create simple and dynamic charts in Excel. So let's get started. Now, based on our sample data set, I've got the sales data that contains the sales value for each of the months in the rows, and I've got the product in the columns. Now, we've got laptop, smart TV, iPhone, furniture, suits, sneakers, and shoes. So what I'm going to do first is to insert C15, create what is called a drop-down list data validation, which allows me to select any of the products like laptop, furniture, and so on and so forth. After that, I'm going to create what is called a simple formula using the XLOOKUP function in column K. And of course, we want to reference all the months from column A to column J. And then we're going to create the column chart and 3D pie chart. So without much talking, let's dive in. Now in cell C15, I'm going to come to the data tab of the ribbon under the data tools group click on data validation here and of course under the validation criteria and on the settings tab i'm going to choose a list and then this is going to be default ignore blank and of course in cell drop down which is exactly what we needed so for the source i'm going to just click in the cell here in this box rather and choose all these products and click enter so we've got our drop down here which is amazing that is how to easily create drop down in excel now having done that let me just choose laptop so i'm going to come to cell j i actually need all this month here i can actually copy and paste but we can do equal sign and use a formula to just reference that control enter and that will spill the month in the rows and that's amazing so in a i'm going to use a formula equal sign i want to reference whatever value that is selected from cell c15 so click enter so you can see i have laptop so when i change so let's say smart tv it automatically updates that's amazing now let me just use one of the cool thing i love to use in excel which is the format painter it's amazing i can actually copy this format from here and paste it here and that's amazing what i'm going to do next is to use the X lookup function to return the total sales for each of the months and for the selected product in cell K1. So let's do that in cell K2 equal sign X lookup. Now the lookup value is going to be this value in cell J2. Now I actually want everything to spill. So I'm going to select J2 to J13. And of course, we can see this pound sign. That means it's going to give me all the value within that range so we call it spill operator in excel and i'm going to put in a comma so for the lookup array i want to check this list in cell a2 to a13 put in a comma now for the return array i'm going to nest the second x lookup inside the first x lookup so i'm going to type in x lookup now the lookup value will be the value the product in cell k1 put in a comma and the lookup array is going to be this list from b one to h1 put in a comma and for the return array let me just move this here for the return array we can select all this bunch of numbers and then we can close the second x lookup and the first one and control enter and that will spill the results to all the neighboring cells below so we can control shift down arrow key control shift four to apply currency and then we can decrease the decimals and that's amazing so you can even see we've done it so this is um smart tv and it's return all the tools for smart tv now when i come here and i change to let's say iphone it dynamically updates that is quite amazing now we are done with the data preparation and let's create the column chart and then the 3d pie chart so i'm going to select all this block here and in the insert tab of the ribbon at the chart group i can see the column chart and the bar chart in a so i click on that and of course we want two dimensional column charts so i click on this 2d okay and of course we can you know perform some design so now i'm going to come to the chart design contextual one tab so i can choose whatever stars i want now let's go with these stars i think this is amazing and let's just do some tidy up let me just you know collapse the ribbon for now for more space and of course let me expand this chart then i want to get rid of the first and foremost the grid lines and i want to turn off this delete 
and of course i'm going to right click and i want the data labels uh, i actually want it at the top so that's going to give me the values okay that's amazing i can click on this i can make it to be bold i can increase the font size if i want i can decrease okay that's amazing and of course i actually want different colors for all these columns i can right click on any one of them choose format data series and in the format data series pane to the right of the screen i can choose this fill bucket and i can choose this fill and then I can choose vary color by point and you can see i have different kind of colors which is amazing and now this is the first you know chart let me just put it in a you can close this you know format chart either for now now let's create the second chart which is the 3d pie chart so i'm going to select all this block again come to the insert tab of the ribbon under the um pie and donut chart you can click on this and choose 3d and that's amazing and let's you know have the same styles i can come to the chart design here choose this drop down and i think this is it here okay that's nice so what i'm going to do is to get this legend to the right hand side so i'm going to come here and choose legend and of course choose this option and choose right and that's amazing i can expand it and to see all the other and points like December that's amazing and then we can easily test how dynamic all these things are let me just move this to this side let me you know reduce this okay this side you come to this side okay let's just okay let's just use this section here let's put it side by side okay I'm gonna move this down I can click on this I can hold on the shift key I can you know increase to make it on the same level okay that's amazing okay now let's go ahead and test how dynamic this charts are so when i choose let's say um smart tv oh that's beautiful you can see we can see the column chart it's automatically updated and of course the 3d pie chart updated now you can even you know add some data labels here data labels okay so that's nice we have the same value now you can easily tell that for the month of june we recorded the highest seal which is 9859 pounds that's for the smart tv let's see for shoes for instance you can see everything works dynamically and based on the column chart and of course the 3d pie chart the highest sales was recorded in the month of november let's see you know sneakers oh that's amazing now the highest sales was also recorded in the month of june for you know sneakers and the lowest sales was recorded in the month of april so this is basically how we can create a simple and dynamic charts in excel i hope you enjoyed this video if you do we can like comment share and subscribe to this channel because there is a lot more to come thank you and bye for now cheers